Well, multicultural reporter Jayla Washington shares the story of a unique entrepreneur who is finding her own way and making her business pop. <laughs> Soul popped. It's just as it sounds. The kind of popcorn some might argue can only be made with what's deep inside the person who's making it. Okay, so we all have grandmas and mamas and aunties that when we go to their house, you can taste the love in that food, right? I can pretty much make popcorn taste like whatever I want. It's a, it's a superpower. Don't ask me to explain it because I cannot. It's just what I do. So it shouldn't be a surprise someone like De Juana Lozada Okay, so... Or DJ for short, is behind it. We all have grandmas and mamas and aunties that when we go to their house, you can taste the love in that food, right? But she never thought she'd be making popcorn full time until she had no other choice. In 2006, I just stood up and fell and hit the floor with a pain episode that, um... I had never experienced before. And that started uh, me on a journey that lasted almost nine years, debilitating, fast undiagnosable forward. pain that kept me in and out of the hospital every month for eight and a half years. Eventually, she found out she had a rare uterine condition, but it nearly cost her everything. That left me with $2 million in medical debt. $2 million. So with two kids to take care of, she did what she had to do. In my late 40s, I found myself starting over from scratch. From scratch? My product was born out of pain. And she did it with literally just $53 to her name. I took half of it and I bought popcorn seed and coconut oil. And I knew that that was something that I could make quickly and I could turn and make a profit with it quickly. It was just, it was just a God-given message. Go get up and go make your popcorn. And here I am on the side of the road selling popcorn out of an $80,000 SUV. She felt she had nothing to lose. There's power in not having anything to lose. There's power in that. Now she's successfully been running the business for close to 10 years. Some soul poppers, as she calls them, with her every step of the way. Yeah, I love her. She's a people person. I remember she had her kids with her as well, help, helping her out. As a child who lived on the streets for a little while, homeless, she says, to now, with new opportunities to partner with stores and hotels yeah, selling right, Soul right. Pops. And sometimes I just sit back and giggle and I say, I'm doing all of this because of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Soul Popped, DJ never plans to stop because truly she feels like this is her destiny. When you think popcorn, I want it to be synonymous with Soul Popped.